Here you go now fellas, here we go, we've got the Perla. Since 1846. Now I think this is another Polish beer, I'm not quite sure. Stand to be corrected. Um, I have tried this once before at least. I think I might have done a video on this one. Anyway, I've got a, well I'd say there's probably a hundred beers that I've done two videos on. I guess. Cheers everyone. You little perla. It's got a bit of guts. It's not a light pilsner. So if you like it with a bit of flavour, Lebowski Schmier, Unicorni Aramat, and I don't know if I said that anywhere close to what it is, Schmilova Pilis, Pelasrod Pew, I've got no idea, but anyway I'm having a crack, I'll have a go at it, it'd help if I know what sort of accent to put with it. Yeah, pretty gutsy sort of flavour. Well balanced though. Not bitter, not sweet at all. Not sweet at all. Uh, 5%. No, you're kidding. Is that right? Well, my eyes are probably gone, but I think it's 6%. You're kidding. If I knew that, I would have bought more. I don't know if I'm reading that right, but 6% maybe, fellas. So that might be a cracker. Get on to this one. The Perla. It's a Perla of a day today, actually. Really warm north wind. It's actually really mild for this time of the year. Lovely. About time we had something decent. I'm going to do some beer. New beauty. Oh well guys, could be in for a bit of rain tonight, this is what it is. Now what's going to happen with this election in America this year? I reckon Hillary is going to step in instead of Biden and take the show. He's going to scam the election and defraud everyone and, and, and take it, take the power, you beauty. Well, they have got the virus on their side. Joint effort, I think, by China and Hillary and Democrats get together and wreck Trumpy and his chance of getting rid of the globalists. Go Trumpy, get rid of the globalists. That virus made a mess of the globalists in a way, didn't it? You wouldn't want to be in a global bloody pandemic or a global uh, economy anymore. Shocking. Oh well, I'll leave you with that. Aussies are going to go on their own, I reckon. It'll be Australia and New Zealand and probably won't catch up with anyone else in the world for a while. Oh well, fingers crossed the whole world will get over this in a flash. Cheers everyone.